there we go. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Face and mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service along with... Uh, yeah, give me a second here. It seems I turned this off or maybe it's just broken. Oh, I think that fell on the floor. Uh, let's there, we there we go. There we go. And the less than terror find Urban Lord over here. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, he and Glacier Boy asked if they could join in with the co uh, with the co-hosting or at least the commentary, and uh, yeah, why not? The more, the scarier, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back to Alien Isolation. This, I believe, is number five of our streams. Oh. Uh, no, not start there. Wait. Continue. I think it might be third. Yeah, we did, we had the third one already, and it's it, this is about the. Uh, let's see. This is the third week of October. Yeah, so then it's it should be number five. Uh, oh, Anyways, right there. Uh, yeah, we were on our way to uh, a rogue AI core, and yeah, the only real way to get to it is to crawl through the electrified ducts. So we kind of want to shut those off before we go through. Yeah, actually, I should ask, can you see us uh, on the Discord at the moment, uh, uh, Durvi? Uh, uh, can you see the screen share, I think is better to ask. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm watching the screen right now. I can see myself highlighting whenever I come up to. Ah, Thank lovely. You. And you're all hmm. seeing live and not 10, 12 seconds delayed. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty on time. <clears throat> Let's see. Apollo Sales 1 Sheets. Apollo Information Sheet. Wine Apollo System for your Deep Space Orbital Station. Self-regulation and Android maintenance. Security through removal of synthetic self-determination. Instant communication. No interference. Lightning fast data movement across the station. Reliable, efficient, self-sustaining. A true season product. Right, when it's just gone rogue. So, uh, right. <laughs> might want to rework that space. Oh, okay. I misheard you when you said self-determination. I thought you said self-extermination. <laughs> no. Because I thought, I would wait. I'm sure Something the aliens... Something sound right here. Yeah. The aliens would just love it if we self-exterminated. Yeah, they'd get jealous. <laughs> There's movement over that way. Instead of Joe... Because we, we ejected the Xenomorph from the station, or at least vanished it to the outside. So now the, the freaking robots have gone rogue. Or more oh, rogue. Just not a rogue enough to walk around with robes, cloaks, and daggers. Hmm. They just punch you and they claim you're hysterical. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool looking code offer, isn't he? Okay, oh, is that done? Last... I just realized something. Hmm? What's that? The, uh, the androids are basically will go up to you and doing their own version of stop hitting yourself. <laughs> um, what's going on there? Oh, I, I think I wasn't uh. quick enough to get through the door. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, take two. It's the first time one of those things has been timed, I think. Okay. Go. And in. Okay. Climb before this thing electrifies again. <laughs> We don't need to be cooking bacon in there. Okay, just in time. <laughs> Anyone spending bacon? Oh, yeah, but that was my comment on if you got electrified. Um. Okay, I don't even have you to have my glasses on to see that's lightning. Did I miss a turn or something? Because I don't think we want to crawl through that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not a good idea. Unless you got turkey handy. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh, this was a turkey? Yep. Yep, I just keep sh <laughs> Okay. 
There's no way we could have gotten in that far from turning this off over here. So is there something inside there that I missed? Yeah, I'm guessing there must have been something at the other side of the tunnel. Hmm. Like the other way. Maybe. Let's... Is there something... Oh. There's more of these things that I need to turn off. Uh, uh, there we go. That's number one done. Ricardo, conduits mm. offline for now. I've pulled up the Apollo schematics here. It looks like you can get to the access to the turbine shaft. Okay, so it is possible to just screw yourself. But it won't stay off forever. You have to get inside quickly. Great. It's cheap. There's something wrong with your synthetics. The team I requisitioned to acid strip lower habitation just stopped in their tracks. They barked something about a hazard containment order, tried to get into my control booth, and then just marched off. I know I always complain about those spooky bald bastards, but now I've got proof their wiring's faulty. I've got a meeting with your boss Spedding tomorrow, and I'm gonna kick some ass. So when he starts kicking your ass, well, it's coming from me. Actually, I may as well take a moment to just... Oh, okay, no saving. Okay. Or it could be on cooldown still. Uh, let's the see. Safe. Where is number two, then? I find it funny that the save point looks like a payphone. <laughs> <laughs> and it does, but it's a um, emergency phone. Yeah. Also, hello in chat, Glacier Boy. How are you doing? You're free to join in with voice chat if you want. There, yeah, there, there, there. I thought you said you were joining us. Come on in, man. Turbines off. We should be. Oh, they you said earlier that they would be joining to watch us instead. Oh. See, climb, climb, climb. Eat for this fried chicken. Hey. Okay, now what does this do? Oh, it shuts it back off. Okay, so... Okay, I thought I trapped myself in here, but no. And now this is off. Okay. Yeah, well, it's short right. next time. This is gonna be tight. Okay. Good luck. Okay, now we're not throwing ourselves. Awesome. Great. Just keep him cross for me, huh? There's gonna be lots of Jones down there, Rip. Could be dangerous. Samuel sacrificed himself so I could get here. I've gotta try. I thought he was a pretty nice guy for a Sindeti. Me too. You made friends with a robot. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, he actually he actually is the one who invited Ripley along for this. This is this is Amanda Ripley. <laughs> oh yeah. The Ripley from the movie's daughter. Save. Okay. Oh, yeah. I gotta read, but, but since I actually just took over you, Glacier Boy said I shall join next time. Ricardo, main and is locked. tongue poke. Do, to do oh, what that's supposed to be called. Aren't you supposed to throw the cat now? If you can hear me, find another way to make contact. Something's up with my earpiece. Also, hello, knights. Let's see, how are you? Doing pretty decent, I'd say. Uh, some back pain from work, but uh, well, uh, I'm doing really, really, really good. I have two good news. Okay. <laughs> what are those then? Also, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, now we can get into gassed up areas. Okay, there's been a few of those around. Sensor. Oh, hello. Let's see. Nothing there. Apollo would uh, yeah. Apollo would ask for your patience during the current hazard containment alerts, which is currently at level Omega. Thank you. Okay, at least he at least a rampant AI is <laughs> polite. Before they start taking the place apart and they U-turn. After all those 
Endless presentations and tours, I guess the talks weren't stalled at all. Someone at company headquarters just had to click his fingers. A message of confirmation just came in. Apollo's currently receiving a packet of the operational resets. So, I guess the deal's sealed. That was easy. More level than to know stuff until it's announced to share with others. Tried the promotion, huh? Okay, so someone bought this hellhole. Wait. Oh no, I know what happened then. Some I think we can all take a bit of a guess. Yeah. Basically, what probably happened in the first movie, except the, on a large escape. I completely missed that freaking Joe. And yeah, that's that's the androids we're dodging. <laughs> Looks a lot like us. Well, they've gone pretty murderous. Yeah. And these are low budget synthetics, so they're not really like Samuel. Samuel is basically almost human. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Error, error. No clue where that did that. But yeah, the O's are more like robots. Yeah. So, sort of like a robot butlers, I guess. Uh, let's see, night. Uh, first is one, uh, is that, so one of my friends basically has an unofficial stream team, and so I asked if I could join, and I had to fill an application, and so I did. And so now I'm part of this stream team. Okay, that's good to hear. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, the more important news than that is that, please prepare yourselves for this. Uh, avoid the homicidal Siri bots. A guy who I had feelings for just confessed his love to me and asked if I wanted to be his boyfriend, and I accepted so I have a boyfriend. I've not been so happy since forever. <laughs> okay, that, that is good news, good night. Congrats! <laughs> Congrats, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, also, right, yeah, these things can't run, they can only really power walk. <laughs> so, they aren't really a hazard in that sense, but... If they sneak up behind you. Yeah, since they don't make too much noise, and well, they just will not give up. Though, I do have a way of dealing with them. Oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, can I, can I just lose them by just walking in circles? Because it just can't keep up. <laughs> I can't tell if it's still looking at me or not. I think it looked at you there, so... <laughs> looking for you is wasting time. Okay, so yeah, it, it is really easy to lose their line of sight. Uh, let's see, alright. I'm playing with him right now, so I'll be looking. Okay. No need to tell who it is, but could you tell who the stream team is? Or what the stream team is? <laughs> I'm sure this is a misunderstanding. <laughs> Where? Oh, there he is. I was just about to ask. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're the inconsiderate ones, are we? Says the robot with the glowing red eyes. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Oh! Right, come on. Yeah, they always get a few free hits in. Yep. Uh, yeah, melee is not the best idea. Also, yeah, I was told that... Me. Okay, one to four is not... Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, okay. So there there's, was two of them then. Where is the other one then? Or they they're they're both here, okay. Well, I can uh let's see. Uh, there Okay, now I think I see why Glacier Boy made that joke. Oh. Okay, these are a bit more resistant. Can I climb these? Nope. 
Oh, damn it. it what, I, okay, I thought they were a bit further away. Okay, yeah, these thing these ones are a lot more <laughs> are a lot more resilient. Is there a lock on Wait. this? No, there's not. Uh, I'm, they might wait. Might they be industrial? Yeah, the, these might be the industrial ones. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. There. Okay. If it, there, I, yeah, the reason <laughs> the reason we say that is because uh, the the tools we can make specifically say that they aren't strong enough to deal with the industrial versions. And well, we I guess we found them finally. There. Ah, yeah, you just haven't found a big enough bomb yet. <laughs> okay. I, th I think they're actually lagging behind enough that I can safely use this. And I doubt they want to talk about that, Glacier Boy. But I want to talk to you, to you about the uh, Severopol's uh, security protocol. It does sound like a their own version of that joke. need to activate yeah, just follow me in here and then I'll just loop around is just because these industrial ones sound a bit more unsettling than the irregular yo's yeah I think yeah, I can think I can just go by like this bye bye <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was almost a Looney Tunes moment. <laughs> okay, at least they're both dumb enough to come this way. Okay. Yep. Okay, they're smart enough to go for a pincer move. Yeah, you couldn't you couldn't catch a cold. You actually can't, you're synthetic. Okay. If I power these up, one of them should give me access to Apollo security bands. Boot all the buttons. On dome terminal. Okay, and that is back that way. Um. Okay, maybe this will work better. ID tag. Wait, I reckon that's a brand. <laughs> I think that's an actual real uh, brand. A brandy? Yeah, DV's re. Is, I can't see the full thing. Hmm. It's probably not exactly the same for copyright reasons. Uh, hello? I'm not really sure if it was. There was the a second one. one here. Where is he? Likely, but I have that style that looks so familiar. Yeah, I think you're thinking of Jack Daniels. Likely. Yep. Or, again, the they might have done in a style that makes you trick your brain to think that looks familiar. <laughs> but it's a uh, more of a reference or a fake. Yep. Hey, How about have a drink? A drink. <laughs> <laughs> we said it at the same damn time. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 what do you say? 
<laughs> have a drink. Okay, yeah, that, I said that too as well. <laughs> it was perfect timing. Uh, uh, the, the, if I wasn't getting chased, I'd make it get a clip. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. A wild buck? That happened a lot. I'll clip it now. Oak in sync. Okay. So that has been a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can go through here now that it's actually lit up. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, since these things can't bend their knees, apparently, they just can't get in here. <laughs> Three, two, and one. What well, something's right. happened? Yeah, it was just a conflict uh, music resolving. Oh yeah, uh, I was wondering why you were con counting down. Yeah, I was a, I was half expecting the game to prove me wrong. Okay, I was wondering, is the captain expecting me to bonk him? <laughs> no. Not just yet, I think. Let's see. Now, how do we get into this oversized orange place where they can't they can't just bend their knee to break regulations without the right paperwork? Oh, I think I would love to see that in a sketch. Like a working Joe bends their knees and immediately goes illegal action detected. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. On Dame, also, go to the Dome Terminal to gain access. I should probably do a, a disclaimer ah. for I uh, was looking at my current mod and realized don't worry, people, it's not a chest person on me. That's my ooh. tongue. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay. Good. He is fighting back actively. Okay. We'll have to give up on that. Hmm. Just need better hacking. Okay. Well, we do have my axe here. <laughs> Let's see. Can we muck with these or some? Yes, we can. Okay. Oop. This one again? There. You just gotta press the button when the the white text crosses over. Come on. Oh. Okay, I completely missed that you can actually move these things, or I completely forgot. There we go. All right. Other sides, I'm guessing. Okay. Yep, this one as well. I, I like how Amanda's Molotov cocktail is basically just a normal Molotov cocktail that has a sensor tied to it. There we go. Wait. That's basically just a sensor mic. Yep, since we can attention. throw it and use it as a mine. I didn't pay attention, but yeah, that's a <laughs> sensor. I know there was some. I thought there was explosives around it. <laughs> um, God damn it. I muck up on the last one. There, there, and there. Okay. <laughs> Blazer boy, are you trying to find the Wi-Fi password, Alien? Apparently. Though knowing this place, the, the Wi-Fi signal would absolutely suck. <laughs> okay, come on. Open up. up. There we go. Also, I, I looked into the capture 
for the, the new method of capture for VC face, and yeah, I could set, I could increase the uh, the capture rate. So that's why I'm less stuttery. Still some, still a bit, but not as much. <laughs> you need to pay them to improve the signal. Waylon Jutali like is like that. Yeah. What? Fuck. Yeah, of course it would be fucking Wailing Yutani, huh? Yeah, I sh I This is what I was expecting. And of course, what are the odds the other thing is also on a different station? Apparently. Yeah, this yeah. is Sebastopol Station, not uh, not anything with the original ship and such. Yeah, and but it did use the same tactic. Did, did the fucker up? Oh, there we go. Wayland, Utani, building better worlds. Right, more like causing mass murders because they just will not stop trying to <laughs> trying to weaponize something that will not be weaponized. More of already weaponized. Yeah. I, I do have to say, though, I think it's pretty much every single damn alien game where eventually it's t it turns out that Waylon Yutani is behind it. And it sort of makes sense since they're basically, besides the alien, the main antagonist of the entire franchise. But come the fuck on, every finger bloody, bloody time. Yeah, I get so annoyed that I fricked up my English. Uh, <clears throat> follow yeah. primary inter interaction log. Uh, class human interaction request for inter uh, corporate messaging received. Outgoing message to Will and Utah representatives accepted and monitored. Colonial Marshal. Oop. Uh, there. Uh, come out. Uh, all right. I can scroll down with the mouse wheel. <laughs> Colonial Marshal Incident Report. Temporary emergency measures initiated in San Cristobal Medical Facility. No further information provided. External interaction. Purchase order received. Will Johnny operational rules set packet received. Verified and installed. Uh, let's see. What sort of dates are these? Okay. So on the 16th, that's when the, the chest burster bur well, burst out. Okay, the day after they, re they received the purchase order, six days later, uh, extended, no further information provided, station scans initiated on the wing directive, blah, blah, blah. And the next day, containment hazard alert on verified scans in the reactor system, special order 939 initiated, priority one, yeah. And then about two weeks later, New Hammond has logged with Apollo Systems by Synthetic Staff. Okay, so we... We're... Wait. Okay, so... Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. We arrived, like... Well, three weeks... Yeah, three weeks after every, after the alien got loose. Mm -hmm. Uh... Mm -hmm. And the last one, that's, uh, containment has to alert viable threat to specimen detected in project KG348 hazard lab. Okay, that sounds of interest. And let's see, Glacier Boy, 
Uh, though the first android, David, is the one cultivating him in the last Alien movie, if I recall correctly. Yeah, though the fans are a bit split on how on if to consider those movies to be canon to the rest of the franchise, because, well, Prometheus. Yeah, like, again, the deep this was good, but they ended up very much missing it super that it's actually can't basically did a few things that makes it only but be linked with the first movie yeah without being just just his thing if the cinemas were not made uh by the already that time who the heck laid the eggs then in the first movie let's see Spedding its ransom. With the Wayland Yutani buyout, it's more important than ever that the flight recorder handover goes without a hitch. They'll be low level execs and won't know Jack about the buyout, but if they hear rumors about a disappearing people problem, well, I don't want to rock the boat and neither do you. Let's just keep everything nice and quiet. We don't want them having second thoughts. And nope. that's all there's here. I don't know about the newest movie. The newest movie seems to have people talking that they actually saw the. First alien movies, alien corpse. Okay. So it might not be. It might be taking place after the first movie. I'm sure. I'm Refusing to leave the lockdown. It says there's something up with the reactor. You're from the company. Tell it you don't give a shit and to do what you say. Sorry, but I'm small fry. Me, Samuels, Taylor, we all are. Guess if we amounted to anything, Apollo wouldn't be so ready to see us killed. Oh, dear. Yeah, there's normal Joe. Okay, so I'm gonna rig up some of these reactors again, or something. Don't know exactly what these do, but they provide power. But they're they're rerouters. Okay. Okay. Well, time to see if <laughs> if Amanda knows how to fix what's probably nuclear reactors. Uh, let's see. Glacier Boy, yeah, I think it takes place after, but between the first and second movies. Yeah, keeping right. track of timelines is always a pain in the ass. Yeah, hopefully that means that the newest one... Hopefully a bit more faithful. There you go, new batteries. Synthetics are on the fritz, so I found some guys to help me out. I sent one of them into a manufacturing room, but... Good great. That might have been one of the first vanishing cases. Yeah, and also for Glacier Boy and Derby. One of the people is named Waits. Yeah. And he's dead by now, so yeah. No need to wait on that. Yeah. I think it's a fair bet that whether the alien got him or the robots got him, who knows? No, you follow me, droid. <laughs> the bunk was for the captain. <laughs> He's facing this way. Uh, let's see. Hello, Grandmaster Player. Been a bit. What happened to you, Cap? You used to eat cherry flavored bubblegum marshmallows while bowling fireballs in the dark forest, but now you don't hang out with the creators of TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, nor YouTube anymore. I never did. Uh, where do you go? Right there. Wait. There did you? Is. Did you? 
usually hang out with the beanie for a while? Uh, yeah, but he is a father now, so a lot less yeah. time and such. Yep. And I have the regular working Joe. Doesn't think can't see you apparently. Nope, they've got the, the light in their eyes. <laughs> It blinds them pretty much, I think. Like, I've had times that I've been almost shoved up their nose and they still didn't notice. <laughs> Some compounds. Finally, a map again. Okay. Not so. Okay, what do we have over here? Also, how how are you, Grandmaster? Doing well, I hope. Let's see, is there a rewire somewhere around him here for me to screw with the cameras? This one's pretty tight beams. Tightly focused. I'm gonna really quickly grab a drink, so I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Uh I guess I've to uh, asked Durvi later if I, if they also mis heard you miss say that. Did you say miss beamed or miss beamed? Tight beamed, and now we've got a another upgrade for a torch. Uh oh. Probably should go make something. Uh, max, 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 max. There. There. Are you trying to summon Mad Max? Nope. I may as well fill up one of these. With Seekson, there's someone behind you, helping you every single step of the way. There. Shouldn't they be spouting Wayland Jutani bullshit by now? And again, they probably all need a, an upgrade or a, so a software patch. Well,. Here's the thing, if they did, then they would probably have a few problems. So if a witness were to escape, they could probably have spoken about it. Yeah, about, about how the androids are suddenly spouted anything Wayland yutani bullshit. Yeah, which would probably cause a few things. Okay, that just melts through. Holy... Okay, th that's ionized gas for you. Well, I come back and you're cutting a hole in the door. There you go. Okay, just oh. to make extra sure I'm not... Uh, why is there a height? Right, of course, because there's a Joe behind... No, there's a Joe in the area. Okay. Vents are being noisy today, it seems. Hmm. Now, let's see. Glitch Boy, which means that the Joe still operate as if the station is having a normal day. I think the choking out of everyone they see is not supposed to be normal. Yeah, move. They have a different protocol, just they haven't changed the dialogue protocol. Yeah. There we go. I saw... yeah, there's one of them. Hello. Okay, what's a sort of buggy doing here? Those lines really sound like a freaking stalker, don't they? In this situation, yes. I'd have to hear the stalkers to find out, but I'm guessing so. Yeah, they say with Seeks and there's always someone behind you uh, to help you uh, every single step of the way. Like we're normally... always breathing down your neck. Okay, that last boss would be uh, creepy. 
But the other lines are kind of a common thing to just say as a friend to a friend. How we been a strain? A, like a synthetic in this uh, kind or a complete stranger says that? Then yes, it's a bit creepy. So what what is with these vehicles in here? It looks like a budget sci-fi helicopter. Yeah. Parking yeah, garage for all the sci-fi vehicles. We're uh, we're on a space we're on a station circ uh, we're on a station that's uh, circ uh, they're orbiting around a gas giant. Mm, nope. Yep. I guess that wasn't close. It, it, no. You calm the fuck down. Surprise! I'm beating up rope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> getting choked by a joke might not be the answer, but uh, getting raided by knights, <laughs> that's a pretty decent answer. How are you doing? <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Uh, oh, we need to activate that one. Uh, <laughs> welcome back, Knight. How are you doing? And everyone who came on back along, uh, oh yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm Captain H and Leon. Uh, with me here are my co-host Rakir. Uh, what? Oh, that is to be used, as well as uh, Durban Lord. And oh, yeah, we're playing Alien Isolation. Uh, let, I'll actually stop running for a second so I can give Knights a shout out. Give me a second on this. Christian. The captain is playing. We are commentating and enjoying his terror. Yeah, watching as he gets his pants scared off. <laughs> yeah. So I'll admit, I did get one jump scare. <laughs> on the micro night. There we go. Let's see. Okay, you you were playing Fortnite. So hope that went well. Our level too low. Okay, I don't think the stun baton works on Joe's. So, well, uh, oh, damn it, oh, corners. The, the regular ones, it should. <laughs> How about I help you instead, give you me your light? <laughs> really? I pretty. Sh okay, apparently I was too close for that, but. Still, I know it's a pretty decent distance away. I uh, think uh, I just dropped my jaw at that. <laughs> little blowback there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Night. I will lurk since my laptop is currently having a bad time. It's lagging. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's just light him up from a far, from a greater distance this time. I think that's the point with Molotov. Like, how do you hear people throwing Molotov point blank? <laughs> okay, apparently they start power walking if you light them on fire. Yeah, and he said something about being able to withstand 1,000 something degrees. Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, maybe the lighting them on fire does not work at all well, then. Uh, what other toys do I have to throw then? No. A stun gun or a stun bomb. Yep. Oh yeah, they <laughs> they just. This also causes accidents. There we go. Okay, it was not the industrial one, luckily enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we can work. Works up controls. Okay. No more robot to get in the way. Okay. Oh, that's why these things are here. This is a workshop. A, a workshop with a vending machine. Mm. Let's see. Okay, Pizza, hungry, mega burger, french fries, <laughs> ham baguettes, chicken nuggets, Wait, horse uh, burger? hot dog, veggie wrap, fried chicken, and yeah, horse burger. Okay. <laughs> We actually had fries today because we we just we just had some deep fried stuff. And personally, I do not like these types of French fries. I I like them the the, the chunkier ones. 
Uh, oh, bloody hell, where is it? Uh, blank on the English word, uh, raffled? Wavy? Uh, no, not like that. Uh, but more just rougher chomped and such. Alright, so not thin, but a bit thicker. Yeah. Okay, then this one. Yeah, I like both. So, either thin or the ones that are like uh, almost flat, but a bit broad. No. Uh, uh, what's the what's the word for those again? Uh, yeah, like discs. Uh, no, not like this. It's a, it's still like a fry. Just uh, how to say? Basically, instead of having one free fry, you have a fry that's uh, like three fries together. Hmm. <laughs> okay, can't say I know that then. Yeah, it, it yeah. doesn't sound familiar. Wait, wait. I think they are called Canadian fries. Doesn't sound okay. like any kind of Canadian fry I know. Oh wait, no, no, Canadian fries are massive. Debatable. <laughs> then again, I don't think I've ever seen a, a certain definitions of a proper Canadian fry, and that's coming from me as a Canadian. Yeah. And it, it, well, here's a fun fact for you, Derby. French fries. Most of them is called French fries. I think I heard that before. I'm just not sure where. They were literally called Dutch fries. Yeah. Oh, okay. Even That's... I didn't know that. No idea why did. No idea why did he change it. <laughs> yeah. To my knowledge, the French fries did not start uh, in France, yeah, or something. No, yeah. no idea where they might have picked up that as the name, though. Yep, and I was a YouTuber oh. also going back about the falseness of uh, American's apple pie. And he did disclaim that it was not even originally English. Yep, two what? of them. Apparently... Sound... Oh, one. Sounds like count on the Americans to change the name of something that wasn't theirs. Yeah, apparently... Apparently, the recipe of apple pie cafe goes really far back. It seems that the old recipe for apple pie was also Dutch. <laughs> uh, leave it Again. to the people who trade shit from all over the world to make a bunch of shit with it. Yeah, but that's the oldest current recipe, so likely all is surviving. Yeah, and that looks like an industrial one. And it, also people... People wrote... Uh, like... Ancient Dutch and all that were rather different from modern Dutch and other, same with other, all other languages. So it may take a while before we translate another uh, cookbook to realize, oh, here's maybe the original apple pie, which might be Italian or something. <laughs> Again, oh, yeah. must report to their nearest synthetic. Something about report to something? Yeah, no, oh, all executives the... uh, report to the nearest android to get killed. Captain, I guess this is why not... people get iPhones. Yeah, Captain, <laughs> juice the EMP bomb on that one. If that's the reason to end with to get iPhones, then I'm not getting an iPhone, especially now. Freaking robots. I think I hit just in time. Yeah, I think that's an industrial one. Yeah. The suits had a giveaway because I doubt they would just put a hazmat suit over a normal working Joe. A yeah. And then with another one, fries. Maybe if I have an issue, I'll order some burger and fries tomorrow. And for people wondering, I'm still sick. Yeah. Mm. That's neat, you can move around in the clan locker a little bit too. Yeah, uh, I didn't know you we could move to the sides. What if oh, hello? Is that a bolt gun? That might kill the industrial ones. Oh yeah, it's, it's, oh, yeah, it is a bolt gun. It's certainly Sadly, big not the Warhammer like kind. 
And then it's big enough to shoot down the industrials. Okay. Six eight three two. Let's see if this works on the industrial. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> okay, so it, it needs to be charged first. Oh, it's that kind of bolts. It's basically a rail... It's basically a harpoon gun mixed with a rail gun. Yeah. Murov, it's a... It's That's a nice. bloody nail gun, except shooting bolts. Yeah, construction uh, nail gun with a rail gun system. Uh, reactor maintenance now is requested. Should lock the shutters behind me. Okay. Floras. Uh, oh, also, uh, be safe, Glacier Boy. Thank you for joining. Okay. Have a good night, Glacier Boy. <clears throat> see you later. Let's see. Power delivery. We need you down in reactor maintenance, Flores. I've got reports of localized brownouts all over the station. I know it's going to hell on station, but I can't see anything up here uh, that would be comp uh, yeah, compromising power delivery. Can you run a full system uh, check down there, Chief? Uh, coming to find you. Hmm? What the heck is brownout? Uh, when uh, power fails, you know what blackout? Yes. Brownout is more shorter, like power just f fades away for a bit and then comes back again. Okay, yes, so there was nothing related to toilets then, luckily enough. I seem to recall there was one here for me, like last year, and it's like they sort of advise you to limit your power usage. Not more. All right. Yeah, it happens from when systems are trying to draw more power than is available. <clears throat> Play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that would... Let's see. Flores, if, you, if you're still there, find what has somewhere safe and wait. So I'm coming down to you. We need to stick together now. Sanders is dead, and at least four of the other engineers are missing. One of those damn androids nearly took my head off, so I've scavenged some parts together to make a weapon. It's got enough kick to punch a nice clean hole in one of those bastards. I'll be there as soon as I can, Chief. Okay, so... Wait, was he sending these from here or are these receiving? That's hard to tell. Yeah, and wait, weapon... Wait, he made his weapon? Apparently. Sounds like it. Okay, so it it's not... make it sound a, like um, this was the sender. <laughs> okay, so it's not a tool, it's a makeshift weapon. Yep. Six, eight, two on the power thing. Yep. I need this... Six, eight, three, two. There we go. All right. Now it kind of dawns on me that I wonder how many nails you actually have for that gun. Uh, five at the moment. Uh, not nails, bolts in this case. Yeah, but technically <laughs> bolts are just <laughs> bigger nails. Yeah, <laughs> just big ass, heavy, heavy nails. Yeah, do with a small nail you may fly through you and you might be fine depending where you hit you. Yeah. But a bolt? Like a ship yeah. bolt? Um, yeah, that's gonna yeah. break. Yeah. Bolts. And based on actually that android that you did shoot earlier, it looked like the end was still sticking out, so it looked like it went all the way through the head. Yeah. And androids are quite a bit tougher than people, so if I shoot someone with that, it's probably going to take their head off and stick it to the wall behind them. Oh, leave a damn big hole through the head. The reactor. Yeah. It did some training in one. Aim for the body, you'll nail to the wall. That would have made, would have made the crucifixion quite different. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do blow a raspberry, but my my mouth is a bit too dry. Okay, my mic will not pick out that sound up. Oh, oh, so hello. Raspberry. Oh, shotgun. <laughs> and a revolver. Oh, you got your shotgun back. Yeah, we're fine. Oh yeah, good weapons. 
Well, really we had legitimate. them before, but we had to we had to hand them in to be able to get close to the Apollo core. Uh oh. We're lacking our flamethrower, though. So it's less you didn't have the good weapons before, it's that you just had to give them up. Yep. Hold on. Who's I'm worried, though? That you shouldn't eat all that flamethrower. Are you sure you didn't eat it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Munch, munch. <laughs> if you tried to eat that thing, I'd say, geez, your poor throat. <laughs> okay, I think this is running a bit, bit more than nuclear. Yeah, that's looking kind of crazy. Some androids, some core control systems, business as usual. Is that snow or am I just seeing shit? Apparently the reactor is big enough to have freaking rain. I think this move there's a leak or yes. cooling system is leaking. It's it's something like that is coming to investigate. This thing's supposed to be in space, right? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so the industrial ones take three headshots instead of one. Three shotguns to the face. Jesus. Could have loaded that thing with a slug in it. Still wouldn't have done much. Oh, great. All of them. Oh, are yeah. I think, it's, I think it's the bolt gun we want to use for this one. Yeah. Right, need to reload manually each someone. <laughs> oh yeah, no wonder. Frick, I saw the size of that nail, Jesus Frick. Right. Another one. Not That's the last of them, it seems. Right. It would be nuts and bolts if I aimed a bit lower. But <laughs> I'd, pro I'd probably be wasting the shot. <laughs> I'm not sure a nut shot would do much on them. Uh, where would keep them, uh, them from walking? And also, I just well, realized something. You're shooting them in the face. Yeah. yeah. Does that mean they no longer have a screw loose? No, they have an extra one. Something for extra processing power, you know. <laughs> yeah, process <laughs> this one. Okay, I need Actually, to be I there. I can't help but wonder how big of caliber that shotgun is now. Like what size of slugs it's using, or shells. It's... Looks pretty big, but... Yeah. Not sure. Yeah, I think, I think Ron said that this one gun is based on a failed prototype. So it's and definitely a hunting fun. shotgun. What? So it's definitely no hunting shotgun. Oh, yeah. no, no, military. <laughs> or at least of a high enough grade to be used by the marshals here, the, basically the cops. I yeah. saw something in the elevator. Hmm? Something familiar. Oh. There's the source of your rain. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. Okay. Oop. Don't eat it. <laughs> if you do, make sure you have a lighter so that you can breathe fire. <laughs> Ricardo, they're all here. Everyone that's missing. Everyone. They're trapped in some kind of nest. There are eggs. It's it's like a farm. Oh I might have to prepare to look away. <laughs> I think we know what's wrong with the reactor. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I was worried, people. I feel the wait. Did that just mean either someone smoking is in here or that is a queen? Well, there it started with one. There's a bunch more now, so. So yeah, that whole place is probably infested. 
Yeah, and here's the problem. If the Xenomorph is alone for too long, and you realize it's alone and all that, it would morph into a queen. That's terrifying news. Yeah. So... Based on yes. what I remember of watching the first Alien vs. Predator movie, I think they showed a queen in that. That thing was freaking enormous. Oh, yeah, it's when in the second movie you got to see a queen. Okay, there's an unopened egg, there's an unopened egg. Yeah, and I will repeat this, people. These eggs, called Ovimorphs, they aim the facehugger at you. <laughs> For a moment, I thought something just tried to jump. But no, it was <laughs> the egg popping like a pimple. Yeah. Uh, and also, another thing, they also have acid blood. Yeah, that's yes. remember you. I said that. The eggs themselves have acid blood. Yeah. From the one or two times that I remember <laughs> my brother and dad had an Alien vs. Predator movie on, I knew those things. The queen is freaking huge, and their blood is extremely dangerously acidic. Oh yeah! In the first movie, a, a few drops from a facehugger, that guy, went through, uh, let, let's see, two, three floors. On a, on, space, a uh, on a spaceship, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so each, uh, yeah, each player floor is uh, flooring is likely not thin to begin with, so yeah. So it's no wonder it was raining on that previous level. <laughs> yeah, if some of these things got hurt, they may have yeah done somewhat a few holes. There it is. Hello. Okay, that was enough to scare it the fuck off. <laughs> uh, motherfucker! <laughs> Is this? Just wanna kiss. <laughs> okay, so they came back real fucking fast. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't think it's the one we blew out. Yeah. yeah. There's no way Seeing as one. there was one corpse along here somewhere that uh, had their chest burst, yeah. him or her, I can't tell. Oh man, this is also reminding me of another alien fact I remember. They are extremely yeah. fast. Yep. Oh yeah, they are. Also, those little bastards, if I recall correctly, are one hit kill. Yeah. Nasty little critters, but one hit kill. Yeah, on us. Like, if they jump us, it, that's it. So let's try and avoid that at all costs. <laughs> Probably. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot something. I forgot about the eggs. And that <laughs> one was about to grab me. And then they won't aim at you. I suppose now is a great time to ask how long you have before it tries to jump you from the egg. Well, apparently as long as that took. So a few seconds tops. Oops. My brother interrupted me for a second to say he's heading out. Okay. Wait, you want to see what? Oh, oh, yeah, my was... brother's been out for a bit. Yep. Uh, all right. Okay, no idea what way. he's doing. But... Yeah, the motion sensor is getting to be reliable. <laughs> Where the fuck did that one come from, though? I heard, I heard something that's. Like it was falling out or dropped down from a vent. I'm not yeah. uh, there's a vent. Yes. Okay. I'm not sure if it's that that I'm hearing, but I can definitely hear it. Kind of sounds like in the ambient noise, something is continuously calling out. Yeah. Oh, I should probably warn you about one thing, uh, Derby. What's that? 
we the first xenomorph we faced in this game we we, we named it it's, it's never good when it's named we, we oh, named it uh, we named it greg so, yeah. <laughs> so, so to be honest now that we know that there's multiple of them is a good chance that it actually was multiple and not the same one. <laughs> yep. All right, we named them all Greg. Yep. Hello there, big scary friend. Okay, time to run because he's going to come back. And yes, we need to go down the creepy hole. But, all right, now, now we know why there's water raining in that reactor. Yeah. All this looks like. Yeah. Those things can't follow you. I don't even want to think about what this fluid is or what it smells like. <laughs> You're stompy. If I had any guess, eh, no normal smell, and it probably smells freaking awful. Yeah, a lot of it is probably the uh, slime thing they uh, just spit out all the time, yeah. but also water. Actually, I could say it probably smells like generic corpses a little bit, too. Uh. Oh, hello there. <laughs> well, that one definitely screamed at you. The xenomorph or the body? Uh, the xenomorph. Fuck off, Greg. <laughs> it started as a joke, but then we all ended up calling them Greg. Hey, if they're all that bad, why not? Will you Was give it, it a Greg fucking or rest? Harold? It's a good thing there's not predators in this. Don't jinx it. <laughs> well, they are working on a sequel, so... so yeah. Be. yeah, here's the fun thing. After the, after the first, uh, second or first is a game, we talk about how fun it would be if they uh, made a new game of this. <laughs> Next week, they announce it. <laughs> Not first time they had, uh, this has happened. Mentor said, yeah, what would be fun if they made a remake or a sequel? What if it did the very next day or a week after they to announce it? Quickly. Okay, there. Let's say this skill. I will not be surprised. Motherfuck. Uh, uh, what? What? There's one nearby. Oh no. <laughs> but I will not be surprised if we end up being somehow gaming prophets or something. Yeah. Actually, I do have a question, and for me, eh, you probably oh, answer this better. Where did that one come from? <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't paying attention when that came on. <laughs> uh, um, your question? Uh, I forget which movie it was. I know I haven't seen it, but the one where there was alien predator hybrids. Are those actually canon? Or no. I think they are. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. It is a thing. When that thing that just attacked him and killed him, yeah. they will uh, throw in the chest uh, burst into you, which will then grow inside you and take part of your DNA. I think you can guess what that means. Yeah. Basically, Basically the alien. Yeah, basically, he's the alien is part of you. Yeah, they borrowed the steel DNA from you. And here's the thing: I think will you give you a very good idea how horrible, uh, terrifying that is. <laughs> Don't let them ever get into a zoo. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Gregory? So far in the lures, that are. There has been uh, Cinemorph Bulls, which are immune to gunfire and fire. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no. They need to go, uh, gunfire and rocket fire. But not regular fire. Luckily. Our the rhino one is our immune to fire and gunfire. <laughs> Unknowable rockets. Thing. Yes, I can only imagine how terrifying it would be if one managed to get inside the predators. Yeah, we saw that in the movie. Yeah, the Predalians. Uh, Dude, I'm honestly that... expecting <laughs> predators to make an appearance in the sequel in some form. Maybe. I, mean, I don't remember. There has been in some of the comics hype. I believe between all three of human, predator, and alien in one. Oh, fuck Somehow. Yutonic okay. <laughs> related, of course. Yeah, I don't even need. No, don't even there's... need to The weirdest one so far is a hybrid between disinfectic and xenomorph. A what now? Android. Oh. This is kind of. So robotic aliens. Yeah, not like in the in one of those uh, alien with the predator movies and such, that they put gadget on them. This is more like they grew. <laughs> this is kind of weird since the synthetics are not organic. Like aliens usually ignore them <laughs> unless they provide hostile. Then they just kill them. Yeah, uh, growing uh, wise to my flaming. Yeah. <laughs> I kept backing away from you, like, no. Don't touch me with that fire. Uh, yeah, they they are no was... longer reacting to my flame comments. Yeah, that just, that you just made it worse. Now, now I have that sun stuck in my head. It, you were just shooting your fire, like, no, get away. And he was like, what? <laughs> Uh, for people wondering, I don't wonder how many are even old enough to remember this song. We didn't start a flame war. <laughs> Doesn't sound familiar. Wasn't it we didn't did start the flame war or something? Yeah, something like it has been a damn while. I can't oh, been... actually no. I realize we should not use the bolt gun on those. Yeah. Oh, Amazed... I learned a new. I learned a new nickname for him for yeah. my countryman from Gabriel Iglesias. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> from Fluffy. I learned a new <laughs> nickname for us Canadians since from him while I was seeing his show. Oh. <laughs> Moose killers. <laughs> Yes. Moose killers. Yeah. I thought it was the other way around. No, that was. He said that a couple times during the show. It's like I, 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 I thought the egg was still shot. Oh, holy! A lot of nasties in there. Right. Go through this. And she has her uh, asshole. <laughs> I'm lucky those fuckers make a noise. Yeah, and it, they make the ugliest little screech, that's for sure. I don't remember their, them ever making noises in the one movie that I watched, but it's good to know that they do. I think they do hiss. Yeah, but not okay, like that's... that. There's one that way. Good Almost out of reserve. Open. How much harder is it to hit, to hit them with other weapons? Uh, they don't give a crap. <laughs> oh, another fun fact for Derby, since we talked about this in uh, some stream ago. Out, out, yeah. out. 
uh, the queen can lay about 15 eggs per minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that, too, from, like I said, the one movie I watched. Because there was also a scene where it was, like, mechanical production line, basically. Where the thing was constantly laying eggs on the thing. Uh -huh. And it's like, Jesus, freak. I'm sure we would like it if we didn't die too. There are emergency overflow circuits that feed excess power into the local capacitor banks on each tower. If I decouple them and discharge the system, the purge will be external. The nest is right in front of me. Did I miss that? How the hell did you miss it? Point blank. Is it like, I thought you were pointing right at him, but it didn't seem to do anything. Maybe I fired too early or something. Living and or maybe the shocks. Speaking. Yep. Oh, that was that. Okay, so if I hold it. it too long, it goes off all the same. Uh, well, that's two shots wasted. Oh, uh, none yeah. None of the it's behind me. Gas powered. Oh, Can I get canister. Okay, they don't pierce. That would yeah, have been pretty been. hilarious if they shot right through into the next one. You might pierce on, on a human. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, there's another one. Of course, there's like okay. one left after this one. There we go. I wonder if that's how people see me in the morning. <laughs> yeah. People have said that you should look angry and uh, you should have red eyes in the morning. Not like that, I presume. Yeah, because that doesn't really look angry. It just looks demonic. <laughs> Out of here. Okay. Time to overload this fucker. Oop. This must be pretty close to late game if you're getting ready to overload it. Pretty sure we're going to blow the entire fucking... Uh, Pretty sure we're going to blow the entire fucking station with this. <laughs> I would love to see what that explosion looks like on the outside. Then that... Oh. Okay. I guess it can change the mini game if you fail them. Uh, yeah, this one. Cryptic music's doing and stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Why won't it? Uh, is that one already activated or? It's not. That. I'm sure glad for the alien phase I didn't see any <laughs> actual chest bursting. Yeah. Uh, for people wondering, Dury is am... one of the people who cannot stand the chest bursters. Yeah, I'm weird like that because I can stand gore in most cases, but not for Alien vs. Predator or anything related. Dury? There are many people who have a bit of a phobia for the chest bursters, so you're not weird. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I just think it's we weird haven't been so. struck by lightning. This point, being as we're this close, and how how saturated the air must be with water around here. Yeah, I'm surprised. Even that one little arc I saw off to the left just a moment ago. I'm surprised that thing wasn't shooting lightning bolts three inches from your face. Okay, now, we, okay, the, the objective was pointing the wrong way, where it wasn't pointing. The, yeah. Pointing to the wrong corner. Go. There we go. Ooh, that sounds like a nasty hum. There. Okay, this thing is. This place is quite literally humming with energy now. Yeah. Oh, I see. We need to match it to the or to the lower one. Uh, I completely forgot that. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
There is a problem. Ooh. Down. Okay, that's one more than I have ammo for. So you're going to need a shotgun. And still should have enough rounds in the shotgun. For... yep. I think I see one that's not moving at the far end, but I'm not sure. I think that's the door. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's definitely hard to tell on that one for sure. Okay. One last round in that. <laughs> that's dangerous. Uh, back there. Ooh. On the plus side, it doesn't look like this is timed. Yeah. Because otherwise this place would probably be swarming with xenomorphs already from us taking a piss in their hornet's nest, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, something would have figured out how to get up the ventilation system by now. Now they've been, one, at least one has been through most of the entire station. Okay, now what exactly did this do? Or is this just going to blow the reactors the moment we get out or something? I, I think this is supposed to have caught, started the meltdown. Nope. Uh, don't think we Holy want to be around for this. The floor is getting electrocuted. You <laughs> just had to say it. <laughs> Run my cow, man. Ooh, that's a weird sounding alarm. Come on, let me in, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> let me in. It's like, open up, damn it. Up the golden ladder. Yes. I was like, what golden ladder? Yeah, they just look gold under the light, I think. Yeah. Or they've just made it look yellowish to make it stand out more. <laughs> okay, what did it say that moved to a safe distance? Uh, how many. Uh... <laughs> How many miles will that likely be? And of course, the door is locked. Yeah, like, however many miles, let's say, where's the nearest escape uh, pod? Hey. There we go. Oh, oh boy. Up there. Oh, you got a double purge. Yep. I'm about to purge the nest. Hang tight. Question is, will it be enough? <laughs> Probably not. If there's a sequel we're, game. I mean, we're good, come on. We are now. Oh, big glowy. There we go. <laughs> Amanda Ripley uses thunder shock. Is it super effective? It's a... You've been thunderstruck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was not effective. It was not effective. Ooh. Oh, okay, jump. okay. How the hell are those things are still alive? I don't know, but they don't look happy. There's still some on the station. Shit. Huh. I'm... I'm sorry, Ricardo. Just step back to the Marshal Bureau, Rip. Please. Oh, great. So, we probably killed the nest, but we've driven, basically driven every single fucker out of there. <laughs> and possibly maybe made uh, mommy angry. Yeah. Something weird's happening. Oh boy. I need you to get to medical. Now. The, the reactor purge. It's resetting systems across Sevastopol. Lights, transit, maybe even communications. I think this is our big chance. Just go. Now. We might not have much time. I'm heading down to comps. Okay. So we overload. <laughs> we overloaded the uh, overrides. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, so all, that work, this thing. all that work and we overloaded the wrong thing. 
Yes. Quickly. Okay, I think I saw at least like six of the fuckers, so... <laughs> yeah, that's never good. Uh, which one? Yep. Any one of these should head out. Okay. All that in the elevator call. Where's some elevator music when you need it? Really? <laughs> elevator music? You want elevator music? That would be nice. <laughs> I, I, I keep mistaking that for a fucking hiss from the Xenos. <laughs> they deliberately made a bunch of things sound like that. Keep you on your toes. Oh yeah, seeing as we kicked up a quite, no, not as literal, but a quite a hornet's nest. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're set to clear this game. Uh, very much within October, or early even. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you still have the time for DLCs then. Yep. The story ones. Yeah. Oh, Simed, you must say. I, thought it, I was wondering what the heck is Schemed. I saw a time board earlier. Yeah, science and medical. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> if it meant something else, I'd be curious. Okay, there are places we could get into now that we have a gas mask and such, but uh, let's just fucking beeline. <laughs> no wasting time, just get the hell out. Was that not what you meant? No. I see, I thought I had a bee visiting me today, he says I take down my bug nets and auto, but not enough for just a damn huge fat fly. Is that a robot moving? I think it's an event. Oh, so it's an alien. Okay. Also, where, where the hell did the safety screen go here? Oops. Don't look at me. Android got pissed off and ripped it off. Let's try again. Okay. Yeah, at the very least, if, if communications are working, we can, well, we can call our ship to get the fuck out of here. Did you manage to get to comms? I'm here, but I was too late. Apollo's recovered from the reactor purge and knocked okay. out external comms again. Damn it. So why'd you send me here? Plan B, Rip. See, before I left, the system showed a ship approaching Sevastopol. I think it's the Inusadora. Marlow managed to send out his auto codes to call me in while comms were temporarily open. We've got to get to it. Is it docking? No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That mm. fucker is still trying to get off station as well, along with our fucking lawyer. <laughs> All right. Nope, 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 nope. That hissing did not sound good. Yeah, that's the sound they make when they jump out of the vents. Hmm. Okay, just make the place foggy as can be. Now this one. We've heard this one before. Shut and shutting off elevators, plan is to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the 
sanctuary, but we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive, there's no room for pity. Hi there, here again. The heck was... Okay, that... Was I the only one who heard something that sounded like chewing? I didn't catch it. I didn't either. I do need to blow my nose though, so BRB. Okay. BRB, make sure the captain doesn't die. Of course. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping I managed to dodge uh, our friends. For a second there, that jack looked like a body and it's like... Eh. <laughs> Someone painted a big red X on the door. Okay, now going that way. And yeah, walking straight up is not the best idea, but it doesn't seem like there's actually any vent access there. So Thank I basically God. just crawled into a dead end. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably a one crawling around the vents. Yep. Like we are going to be in a second. Boy, this is a bad place to come across one. Right in the vents. Yeah. And you back. We welcome back. No. Yeah, welcome back. I think they can catch you in the vents. Oh, jeez. Now you tell us, <laughs> after almost finishing the damn game. <laughs> there, there, I can see their knees. I've been bored for a while, the knee, but... These uh, knees. <laughs> um, that's some mean ass hissing. I think they've been past the door. I don't know how good their senses are, so. Good for we've David. Had some, we've had some really close calls. Yeah, they, these ones are a bit duller than usual, it seems. Yeah. Something else I never thought of till now is I don't know where their eyes are, but I assume they can see. Yeah, they have some you sort of sensing. But uh, Wait, did I go I, to? No, I should probably tell you this, uh, Dory. I went the entire damn wrong way. <laughs> there is a unsettling reason uh, behind why their heads are so long. Really? Uh, besides having a lot of organs, it also helps with the tongue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it goes all the way back. It helps it to give it that, that nasty punch to punch through bones. That's a nasty okay. thought. It's yeah. Basically a giant fucking piston. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that was intentional. For yeah. that was basically what Geiger uh, said and uh, wrote in his notes. Uh, there's a mental image that'll haunt me. <laughs> yeah, he actually knew mechanics and biomechanics and all that, which helped him design the Xenomorph, so... I know that's a sign behind it, it does have a reason for it. That's... Holy fuck. If only YouTube Snow could be agree on where Geiger is from! Like, I get he moved around a lot, but... Yeah, no one seemed to agree about which country he was born in. Hmm. Two, one, I think three, it, seven. I think uh, uh, from top of my head might be like eight different countries people claim he was born in. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh, great. We need to be over there. Oh, boy. 
And how... Oh, wait. That, we can weld this off. Okay. Quickly. Like, we kind of... We kind of cultural never... writing it. Put on there. Looks like there's freaking, like, Japanese writing on the wall or something. Uh, I think there are many Japanese companies that are cool yoni little companies and uh, yeah. I'm actually even surprised I guessed that right too because I don't I didn't even actually know what kind of Asian it might have been. <laughs> yeah. If I remember, Wayland Yutani is Wayland merged with Yutani, hence the name. Yeah. And I would not be surprised if that's common. And uh, since many space stations were joined by multiple nations, yeah. probably a good idea to have a writing two languages. Yeah, that's true. I'm not sure how to fully distinguish Chinese writing from Japanese writing, but I believe Korean writing is generally rather boxy. Also, we're back here, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going from memory when I heard for all I know this could be Chinese without me realizing it. Only we had someone in the uh, chat who knew better. <laughs> do, I do have a kanji list. Oh yeah. But uh that would be like probably that it's written in Rumanji kanji or something like that. Yeah, and that probably only covers certain characters, not the full range. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the amount of uh, humans on the station at the moment is like five, of which, <laughs> well, we, Richard, and our freaking lawyer, uh, uh, also the, <laughs> the bastard criminal. Uh, that was not his name. Yeah. And considering this place looks like it's designed for at least a few hundred or so. His oh, name was Ricardo. Hello, robot. Where do I need to go here? Oh, that way. Uh, was his name Ricardo? No, I want to show myself. Oh, hello there. Why don't you follow me around for a minute? Oh, uh, it, this fi this finally did it burn out. Uh, okay, it's so. finally burned out. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we probably know his name soon again when he speaks up again. Yeah. And then there's the the, the Taylor, the lawyer, and Marlo. There's probably mm. at least one other sap somewhere stuck on the station. This... I think his name was Ricardo. Which I think is the Spanish variant of that name. I'm tempted to call him Cardi for short. Cardi? <laughs> Cardi. Yeah, Bacardi. Bacardi. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Next one. I, I just I'm took the long right way. <laughs> the long way is probably safe. Who knows? That Joe's still in there trying to fix whatever I fucked around with, though. Probably it's not. Like, it's like, you broke this. Okay, let's fix it. Oh, flashbang level three. I still don't really know what that does. I'm guessing it upgrades its effectiveness or something. Really good for blinding the robots. Fair time. Would that even? Uh, if, it, if it like works on robots, awesome. For us, it would imagine it would work on uh, organics. You know, people. Ah, okay. Stunning nearby humans and blinding humans and synthetics looking at the detonation. Stuns humans out for a lot much wider area. As a modified proximity device, it can be placed as a trap. It will trigger when enemies are near. Okay. Uh, it'll start to emit a noise to attract their attention to ensure that they're looking towards it. Okay. Damn. <laughs> That's not a standard flashbang, then. 
That's more uh, making noise. Look over here. That, yep. Up, upgrades. That's kind of evilish clever. Yeah. I'm reminded of something in Black Mesa. You can you can fuck around with the oh, there we go. You can fuck around with the camera systems in one part of that. Uh, there and there. And at one of the cameras, a, a security guard is working, and the cameras are equipped with the flashlights. So yeah. So, yeah, you you can flash the fucker as he's staring straight into it, and if you, which will cause him to fall off his, his ladder. And if you keep flashing him, he'll he'll eventually chuck a fucking wrench at the camera. <laughs> wow, that okay. station is ugly on the outside. Yeah. What was what was it called again? Something punk, diesel punk? No. No. Well, it is a very outdated ship. They said it. Yeah, very outdated station as well. Yeah, but the whole '80s uh, chunky monitors and such. Oh yeah. So despite being 2100s, this uh, technology looks old. <laughs> That explains a lot. I've said this before, but it's basically like a worst case of a uh, of fallout getting stuck in the fifties. Yeah. And for some reason, just nothing developed past the freaking eighties. Though they did ditch the colorful clothing and such, so they yeah. they ditched the best part of it. But of course, well, the technology is probably advanced. Yeah, some companies have what wants to take the others. Okay, fucking designers. The, these look like Z uh, the xenomorph silhouettes like that. Yeah, they look like nasty xenomorph robot type thing. They're just pipes. Okay. Marlo, you need a weird. cigarette lit or something? Because you're getting so, uh, the fuck off this place. Don't smoke. <laughs> And then she got, uh, then she got, uh, <laughs> face hugged. Yeah, felt there, something else on her bones. That, that, that makes me wonder now. It, okay, they found, they found a flight recorder somewhere else than the Nostromo, so it, during the course of the movie, it must have gotten ejected at some point or something. But the ship got blown up, so it may have right, accidentally yeah, got yeah. eight. <laughs> by accident at the planet. Hmm. Wait, there's we an are apple so going pie. To get ambushed by that asshole. <laughs> there's an apple pie laying around, is it, or what? Wait, what? Uh, you said something about an apple pie, Drake, here. No, 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 I did not see anything about apple pie. Oh, I thought I heard apple pie, what the fuck? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's yeah, see. Yeah. Marlo. Oh. Heist says he's just picked up some sort of, some kind of signal. I've got Lewis trying to decode it now. Could be the Nostromo. Want to come up and see for yourself? Uh, technician's report. The 10th... Uh, no, 24th of the October. Uh, Marlo just has some much-needed work uh, on the sublight engines. The old girl was complaining so loudly. I'm surprised something didn't fall off during the last jump. 
Everything's holding together for now, but she'll need a full overhaul soon, and not just uh, for the core systems. We keep pushing her like this, and we're going to end up being the only salvage crew hitchhiking through deep space. It's going to be an expensive job, so let's hope you're right about that beacon. Could be our last chance for a decent paycheck. Anyway, I had to reset the door key, uh, key code afterwards. The new one is 4510. Or 4510. Four, you know, oh, wait, does that count as the... As the immersive sim, uh, it, what what is I keep, isn't that four five one? That always keeps popping up in uh, <clears throat> in immersive sim games. I think so, maybe. Okay, so in fucker intentionally broke uh, quarantine protocols. Uh. <laughs> intentionally, so he's clearly not an idiot. Uh, they didn't know what the xenomorph was, but. So maybe kind of an idiot, kind of not. Yeah. He was probably looking to maybe. Mm, they were already trying. To, maybe they. Did, yep. They must have known some. Yeah. They must have known about uh, the embryo implanted or something. But maybe they were looking to. Like. Probably looking to get it extracted through some uh, doctor on ship or something. Yeah. Not sure even that's safe from what I understand. They're trying to extract those things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we saw something about like a very small amount of uh, yep, a very low survival chance. <laughs> there it is. There, there, and there. Oh, I'd have such a hard time with that little puzzle from the look of how that went. Alright, Marlo, where the fuck are you and why haven't you started up your own ship? Why haven't start, have you started your ship yourself? Ricardo, in case you're in, got the Inner Sigurd's basic power systems back online. Doors should be open. Hopefully some light. Still no sign of Marlo. All right, yeah, uh, he got the name wrong then. Hey, yeah. Welcome to the Anissa Dora. Marlo? Where are you, Marlo? Thanks for switching the power back on. You saved me a job. I only needed it offline temporarily. I had some things to fix. He sounds kind of robotic. He's speaking through a calm. Yeah, yeah I, I still not entirely sure what the tell with Marlo or not with Marlo with uh, Samuels must have been to make it clear that he was an android. I'm not, but then again, I'm not the biggest uh, alien enthusiast. Yeah. Maybe you want to join my crew. Plenty of free spots. Doing. What no one else seems prepared to do. Come find me, Ripley. I got something for you. Okay, he sounds bad already. Also, how did the face hugger get on here? Right now, there's things. Now there's other noises that are similar to the face hugger hisses. <laughs> uh. Jesus. Uh, Sebastopol, whatever it was that attached itself to Foster is dead. I found it on the floor by her bed, all curled up like a spider. Foster said she felt fine, but I insisted on putting her in, in hypersleep. That thing must have done something to her, but maybe I can slow the process. Sebastopol is the, the near station, 
So I'm going to get her checked out. Quarantine will be a problem, but I figured an Astrono flight recorder, uh, flight recorder uh, maybe to take it in. Whatever we have to do. Oof. Anissa Dora, this is Marshal Waits of Sevastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sevastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sebastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. Waits up. Really? You... Yeah, they didn't tell him about the infestation, of course. Yeah. My guess is they didn't have time to tell him about it, so he's probably just sitting there. Maybe yeah. decided to leave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if he'd said it, that one of his crew was infected by something, that they... I'm not sure if, his, if Sevastopol even has weapons or something. Okay, so at least he is smart on one side with it. Just don't fucking try to fight it. How did... Again, how did the fucking things get on your ship? Because if there's one, there's likely another. Yeah. Clearly, they need to work on their preventative measures. <laughs> uh. Oh, battery of the flashlight is out. Oh, well, what do you want to say? Controller. Okay, fine. Finally. Save point. Yay. I'm guessing yeah, the, the slashing nets. Yeah, that, that's from the flamethrower, probably the fuel. <laughs> that's cool. Sounds that a they... bit heavy for the fuel, but uh, well. Yeah, that's cool that they went that far, though, to even include hidden noises of the fuel moving. Yeah. Oop. That's what you usually hear. Light well, recorder can... data. report personal message this is for my daughter hi amanda i'm recording this for you my sweetheart and i hope you get to hear it one day you see i um i got into trouble um my ship there was an accident sweetheart and um we found an alien creature it was very dangerous and the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship uh, i'm okay i'm stuck on this lifeboat long way out but we had to destroy the ship we had to destroy the nostromo we just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us i needed to protect you don't worry don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart. Oh. And now we know when they figured out to vent the ship. Oh my god.
understand. Are you sure you want to be that close? Dream, but not wrong. Listen to me! We don't have to do this! Stop! Stop it, Marlo! Marlo, please. You heard what your mother did. She understood it. She was here, she'd be helping me. You think she would want company suits knowing the zip code of that creature? No one must know. Pretty sure they already know or You're something. Well, time for you to join her then. <laughs> I think that was too late. He set it going. He set it going. Taylor, I'll stop the overload. You have to help me. Go to that console. Morning. Yeah, that does not look <laughs> not look good at all. Open the fusion <laughs> system so I can work on him. What? I need power sent to the auxiliary generator. Look for the letters A U X. Oh, that looks hot. Yeah. Pretty nasty. Uh, oh, right. Where? Oh, jeez. Where is this supposed? Re? I I've been standing in front of this stupid thing. Up there. Okay, is that going to... Okay, you're doing good, Taylor. Now switch the maintenance terminal from auto to manual. Do you see it? I It'll be there, Taylor. Trust me. That's it. Yep, the heat sinks are melting. Uh, oh, this is the long one. There, 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 there. Yep. Ooh, that doesn't... Uh, too late. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, do, we, do we need to go through his speech again? Uh, Captain, uh, no. uh, time? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, guess we have to... Uh, okay, we, we go a little bit longer here because I don't know if... Actually, it did say that it was a save there, so I guess that's going to be uh, quite a hot opening when we return to this game. <laughs> Going in hot the next time. Yeah. yeah. On first day, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, if nothing gets in the way. Yeah. Okay. But of course, oh, before we end the stream, we're going to look for someone to raid. So. There we go. Uh, prepare the catapult to launch Derby. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Who is online? Okay, there's a decent amount of people online, so I'll narrow this down to a few. Uh, let's see. We have Misa and Aleph, who are playing Crow Country. Then we have Grim... Uh, we rated Grim last time. Um, <clears throat> uh, VX Black Pander. We haven't seen them in a while. They're playing Throne and Liberty. Okay. I haven't seen and... them around. And last, lastly, we have Karenai. There we have Karenai playing Metaphor Refantasio. Re That's the latest game by Atlas, the people behind Persona and such, I believe. Mm. Okay. All right. Any of those sound of interest, or shall I take a pick? Mm, I say have at it. Take a pick. I will let you take a pick. Since I'm still sick, I'm feeling uh, the sickness kicking in. Okay, let's go say hi to Misa and Aleph then. So, copy name. Uh, there we go. All right, I recognize this one from the quick little peek I saw. Slash raid and paste. But before we start it, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Glacier. Thank you, Knight, for the raid and for hanging around a bit. Grandmaster Player, thank you as well. 
And let's see, I see Sensei <laughs> Sensei has been lurking in chat. Hey there. It's and a name I don't know, so I will check I will check any names I don't know against a list of known bots on Twitch. So yeah, sorry if you are not a bot. Uh, if you are, you don't have the mental capacity to be offended anyways. <clears throat> and uh, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> apparently I forgot to change the category from Dark Side Detective 2 to Alien Isolation. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh well and yeah That'll of happen. course thank you <laughs> thank you Durvin for joining in and thank you as always to here you're welcome as always my friend and thank you all for oh. joining this madness yeah. always fun to join and always yeah, fun to have like you with to us like Drakir said uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue and maybe finish this on Thursday and if we do, we'll have to see. I I for completely yeah, I completely forgotten what backup games we had, but maybe we could just put everything on a dark side detective until we yeah, finish do, that. Yeah. Do, again, do remember we do have stored DCs for alien isolation. True. Oh, yeah. Okay. But for now, uh, let's get that race started. And yeah. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well, and watch out for Xenomorph seagulls. And any and, scary Halloween creatures. And <laughs> working Joes. <laughs> we'll work on your neck. Oh, God. <laughs>